Alright, do it again. Oh! 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 oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday Fun Day. Today's Sunday Fun Day is inspired by Harry Potter and pretty much everything that we do today will be Harry Potter themed. For today's activities, I will be finally sorting my family into their houses. I think we might try to do a recipe or a fun activity in the kitchen and maybe even a Harry Potter trivia quiz or something. We'll see what we can all fit in this video. I just know everything today will be Harry Potter themed with the exception at some point in this video, I will be drawing giveaway winners. That was from the Beat the Blues collab and the Valentine's Dollar Tree Train collab. That is the lineup for today. Let's go ahead and get started and move into our first activity. Before we move into all of our fun Harry Potter activities for the day, I just wanna do a quick drawing of the two giveaways that have ended. I had the Beat the Blues that I did with Charmaine Staycation, which is a really fun collab. She had like a 31 day collaboration with a different YouTuber every single day of January. And it was really uplifting and upbeat. And if you haven't had a chance to see any of those videos, you should definitely go check it out. So I've already got the link in here, filter duplicates and a filter comments based on a specific text. You had to use the code word Midnights because that was Taylor's newest album. If you haven't already listened to it, it's definitely worth a listen. It's a really good album. There were 14 people who entered into this giveaway and the winner is Erica Mears. I'm a new Sebi. I'd never heard that song from Taylor's Midnight Album until I just listened to it. I love, love, love this song. Much gratitude from the Carolinas. So congratulations, Erica, on winning this Beat the Blues collab giveaway. You will have 48 hours to contact me and to claim your prize. Let's move on to the next collaboration video, which was the Dollar Tree Train. That is one that we do every couple of months or so. It's usually the same collaborators. Every now and then we'll gain a few new ones or there'll be a couple of changes, but it's really fun. It's just 10 items that we find around a specific theme at the Dollar Tree. And I like it because it's interesting to see the different kinds of things that other Dollar Trees have. All right, you see that the video link is already in there. Filter duplicate users, filter comments based on a specific text. This one you had to use the code word treat, which was in honor of the Valentine dog treat toys I found. And there were 37 people who entered this giveaway. And the winner is Oh, Angie Auntie Love. Hello, Laura. Thanks for sharing your Valentine's Day goodies with us. I rate your haul an eight. I like the little dog treat for my puppers. It was a really cute dog treat. Congratulations, Angie. You are the winner of the Dollar Tree Train collab. The only other giveaway I have available for you to enter would be the Down the Rabbit Hole collaboration, and you can click up there and go watch it if you have not seen it yet. The other thing I wanted to mention really fast is I just shipped off five giveaway winners from the 25 Boxes of Christmas. I've already notified all five people and I only have four more left to ship in the US and those will be shipped out on Tuesday, hopefully. Shipping during the week is always really, really hard. So if they don't get shipped Tuesday, they'll get shipped by next Saturday. And then the only thing left after that will be the four international winners and I'm still trying to look into the most affordable way to ship internationally. If I have to go through the post office, I will. It just costs so much more to do that. So if you have any ideas or suggestions on how to ship that isn't through USPS, FedEx, or UPS. I know one of the international winners has suggested shipping it by boat, said that it would take longer, but it was way cheaper, but I don't know how to, if you know the company that's used for that, or if you know how to ship it that way, please let me know in the comments. For this part of the Sunday Fun Day, I'm going to be sorting my family into their houses based on the quiz that they already took. They have no idea which house that they are in. In case you're watching and being a part of this Sunday Fun Day and the live chat, and you have no idea who Harry Potter is, I just wanna say a special thanks for sticking around 
and watching this content even though you have no idea about the story. I am going to give you just a quick overview of the houses. In the books Harry Potter there is this school of witchcraft and wizardry called Hogwarts and in that school they separate all the kids into four different categories. They all have a different, actually, I'm actually wearing the Dumbledore shirt right here. They all have a different main color. Gryffindors are red, Hufflepuff yellow, Ravenclaw blue, and Slytherin green. They also all have a different animal representing each different house. With each house, there's also specific characteristics, and that's how the sorting hat knows which person to put in which house. If you are a Ravenclaw, Ravenclaws are known to be smart, creative, original, and witty. If you are a Gryffindor, those are known to be brave, daring, adventurous, and loyal. If you are known to be a Slytherin, those are known to be ambitious, cunning, resourceful, and determined. And then the last one is the Hufflepuff. And Hufflepuffs are known to be loyal, fair, kind, and hardworking. Now there may be other characteristics that go along with these houses that weren't listed specifically in the quiz, which I think I did the Potter quiz. And I even redid my own quiz because I was unsure if I was really a Gryffindor, but I wanted to redo the quiz to make sure because since I've gotten older, I often wondered if I really belonged in Ravenclaw, but also I'm really ambitious and determined like Slytherin. So I kind of have characteristics all over the place and I wanted to make sure that I was sorting myself into the correct house. So I took the quiz too. So let's go ahead and get started and showing you guys which house all of my family ended up in. Yay! <laughs> How do you feel about your Gryffindor placement? Yeah, I'm alright with it. I figured I was going to be a Ravenclaw. Let's see. That's it. What do you think about being placed in Slytherin? I don't know much about Harry Potter. Are you happy that it's not Hufflepuff? Yes. Uh, How do you feel about your being sorted into Ravenclaw? I don't know. Is it what you expected? No. just as I always suspected. Our family is mostly made up of Gryffindors and Ravenclaws. We got three Gryffindors and we got two Ravenclaws. And then we have a standalone Hufflepuff and a standalone Slytherin. I'm that standalone Hufflepuff. <laughs> She's excited to be a Hufflepuff though. Her favorite color is yellow. She is loyal. Actually, it's hard because like there's so many great traits in all of the houses. So it's really cool to be in any of them. I'm happy to be a Gryffindor. 
Watch I really thought that I was going to be a Ravenclaw though, and so did Dada. Like, he really thought he'd be a Ravenclaw too. Speaking of my cool sorting hat, I actually found this on Amazon. I'll try to show a picture of the one I got specifically because it was kind of a search to find this sorting hat. I wanted to find one that would talk and move its mouth while it was talking. And you know, it felt really weird while it was up there moving around. And I do think it's built for like smaller heads, maybe even more kid sized heads, but it worked out. When I went on Amazon to try and track down a sorting hat, they only had like a hundred dollar sorting hat, which that one would probably say a lot of the phrases that you hear in the actual movies and some of the phrases that were said in the book because I think there was one that was like 15 different phrases. This one just repeats exactly the same thing in the beginning every single time and then it switches to either Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, or Gryffindor and it is random so it doesn't keep going in a specific order. All right, let's move on to the next activity. Time for the recipe, guys. I'm really excited to be able to make this one with you. I'm finally gonna get a chance to use the Accio cookie roller that I was sent, I think, in my very first Accio box. The Keeper of the Keys Rock Cake Roller. What you're supposed to do is when you roll out your cookie dough, you roll this over it, so that way you can see the designs. And on here, there is so many different things. You have Hagrid's motorcycle bike, the spiders, the hippogriff, pumpkins of course. Pumpkins is a food that's used a lot in the books and in the movies. So that's probably why they sent us a little pumpkin cookie cutter. Then you have Hagrid's hut, the keys because he's the keeper of the keys, his little umbrella wand, oh a dragon egg, actually so many different designs on here. So we're going to roll it out and then use a cookie cutter. So that way you still see the indentations and after it bakes, or hopefully that's how it's supposed to work. I've actually never used a rolling pin like this before when making sugar cookies. Really excited to see how it turns out. It did come with a pumpkin stainless steel cookie cutter. Do I know where it is? Of course not. But I do have this plastic pumpkin. But before we can even do any of that, we have to get these cookies baking. Now the Accio recipe card originally came with a vegan cookie and I'm not gonna use that one. I'm just gonna make traditional sugar cookies. For this recipe, you're gonna need two sticks of softened butter, one and a half cups sugar, one egg, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of almond extract, which is optional, you don't have to add that part. There's also two and three fourths cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. As with most cookie recipes, you want to start with the butter and sugar only and then beat that together real fast before you add the other wet ingredients and then we'll get to the dry ingredients. Did you notice that I'm wearing my Mrs. Weasley apron that came also in an Accio box? I told you guys I would use it next time that I make a Harry Potter inspired thing. And here I am wearing it. It's actually pretty nice. It's a nice size. Gives me a lot of coverage actually. Oh, my little weedy dog down here started barking when I turned on the mixer. <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. Okay, now when that's all beat together, you want to add in your egg vanilla extracts. And now you want to add in slowly the flour. Waffles didn't know what was going on, so Jacob decided to bring her up here so she can see. With this cookie dough recipe, it is not the kind of one that you chill in the fridge. So we're just gonna divide it into two different balls and then get ready to start rolling it out. I've got my big silicone pad. I got this from Different Chef and start dividing these into two different balls of dough. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave one of the balls in here and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with rolling out the first ball. Flour up my surface first.
that was a fun cookie activity. I actually think the cookies turned out really good. You can really see the indentations in a lot of them. This one has Hagrid's house, a little bit of a key. You see some spiders. There's the hippogriff up there, monster book over there. There's actually a lot going on in this cookie. They turned out really cute. The cookie roller was surprisingly easy to use, but I did have to press down the right amount. If you press down too soft, you ended up with a cookie more like this where the indentations didn't quite come out as strong. And if you push down too hard, then it like ripped up the cookie with you while you were rolling it. So you had to find the right balance, the right amount of pressure when rolling. And there was like one instance where I rolled and I didn't do it hard enough and I didn't want to roll over it. So I used my other roller to smooth out the design and then I tried again and it turned out a lot better. I really like it. Mm. Really good sugar cookie. I did feel like the part of the process was a little bit of a mess, but at the same time, it's Hagrid's recipe and like Hagrid's roller. So it makes sense that it's a little bit messy and a little bit not perfect, you know, given the character. But I think it was cute. I would definitely make these for a Harry Potter themed party or just whenever because Harry Potter is always welcome in this house any time of the year. <laughs> for the next part of our Harry Potter fun, we are going to be playing this game that I found, I think at Walmart. It's called Pictionary Air. And it's a Harry Potter Pictionary game where you use a wand instead of a marker or any other writing tool. We're trying to connect it right now to the TV so that you guys can play along with us. If you're chatting in the live chat, you can try to guess along as well as to what picture design we're trying to do. After you unpackage it, the box looks like this. And here's the back of the box. Kind of gives you an example of what the gameplay will look like. The inside comes with a wand. It does need a battery, but one is included. We already put ours in here because we've been trying to connect it. There's a button right here. You press the button whenever you're trying to draw. And then there's an on and off switch as well. And this is in the design of Harry's wand, in case you were wondering. And then it also has this little treasure trunk of gameplay cards. You're supposed to play in teams, and we only have three of us playing. It's me, my husband, and Jacob. Pick a card, and for one point, you can try to draw your house word, the word that goes with your house. As we just found out, I'm Gryffindor. So I would attempt to draw seaweed, or for two points, you can try to draw the picture or the word, which would be a mandrake. The pictures are definitely harder. That's why they're worth more points. And then if you didn't like that side, you could try the other side. So this side would have a smile if I wanted to draw the picture or the invisibility cloak. Now the rules of the game, you can use symbols, you can use arrows, you can interact with the image as long as you draw something first. You can draw anything related to the word, no matter how weak the link is, and you can break down words into a number of syllables. But what you can't do is use letters or numbers. You can't use dashes to show the number of letters in the word. You can't use sounds and you can't use sign language. So here's an example. I do like that you can act it out because depending on how well the wand works, we might end up just having to be more charades than Pictionary. These are Hagrid's cookies, his rock cakes. These are like kind of gooey on the inside. That's good. Mm. That's the way they're supposed to be. All right, let's move on to the game. Oh, we forgot to start the timer. Oh, yeah. Do I hit timer? Yeah, you start timer. Oh. Um, Oops. Yeah. Okay, I guess now that the timer is going. <laughs> Once you start. No, it is going oh, up at the top. Okay. Okay, I think it's a rock. A person. A student. A house. Like the housing. Um, the uh, corridor rooms. The, uh, what are they called? There's a snitch. I don't know. Lucas, can, what? I don't. In Lucas? the middle? In the middle. <laughs> oh, Cedric Diggory! The what is it called? The cup. Uh, Time's up. What was it? It was the mirror of Arisen. 
Oh my god. Where he's god. staring in the mirror and he's got his mom and his dad on the opposite sides of him. I didn't, I didn't stand You should have was literally mm -hmm. standing in the mirror. Next up, let's have Jacob go. How do we earn the points? Mm -hmm. I don't really get it. Okay. You get a point if your team guesses it. It's Nobody it. guessed it. I love the floating candles. Just watch your backing up. Yeah, like, you, you gotta to... be aware of where the camera is. Uh, Water. No. It's a book? I think it's a cup of liquid. Is it Tom Riddle's diary? It... Tom Riddle's <laughs> journal? Is that Harry and Hermione? Okay, they're looking... Oh man! What Harry Potter's it? army, like when oh, they sign up. You mean Dumbledore's army? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Dumbledore's army, like when they sign up. Mm. It's something. Okay, so this is based on the books. It's no, <laughs> no, no. no Dumbledore's it's in the army is in the movie. It's in the movie. Nailed it! <laughs> we finally caught one! Okay. A ghost. A tree. Press. The dark forest. Is it the dark forest? The dirty scar? Dad, I got it! <laughs> Did you look at it? No, I didn't.
Nimbus 2000. Fireball. Yes! That was the two pointer, by the way. What? <laughs> that was the two pointer. A what? Look. Oh. Sombrel's Diary? The Dumbledore. Right. Dumbledore's Army. The Sword of Gryffindor. It might be the person. Uh, Voldemort? What was Tom uh, Riddle? <gasps> Way to go, Jacob. Oh. oh. It's Tom <laughs> Riddle. <laughs> nice. Uh, love seeing the Cornish Pixies. Dumbledore's Death. That's a person. Is that the person in the world? A wall? fight. Alright, anything you can act out. Alright, do it again. Oh! 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 oh. so fun. We really had a good time playing. We did multiple rounds even after my camera battery died. Definitely a game I'll recommend. If I can find a link to it, I will put it in the description box below. I will also put a link to the sorting hat in case you're interested in getting the one that was in the video today. That is it for today's Sunday Fun Day. I really hope that you enjoyed this Harry Potter themed vlog. I still did not have time to talk about the Chamber of Secrets and I was going to do that with you guys while doing this puzzle but I just ran out of time and the game turned out to be so fun. I didn't want to cut that down even more. I will either do that in a standalone video or in another Sunday fun day in the future. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Things to look forward to this week. I do have a book review coming out. I will have a HelloFresh video coming out and then a couple of other unboxings that will be out this week. And then I will see you back next Sunday for another Sunday fun day video. Bye everyone.